Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Let's do it. We did his Azel last time. Good run. Left a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth from our inability to become uh, Meat Boy on it, but that's okay. Oh, you know what? I gotta look in this first item room. I'm so excited by the prospect. 9ZFW. D-Ball! That it could be... A Book of Revelations. It is... It's not as far from a Book of Revelations as you, as you can get. But it's, it's got to be up there. But this actually gives us some pretty good possibilities here to see if maybe we can get like a black card or something. Or oh, a rune. Jeez. Awa's rune. Mostly looking for a black market here. That's the only thing I'd ever use that for anyway. Uh, unless I really wanted to skip a boss fight. But I can't imagine. If there's a boss fight I want to skip, I should just practice. I guess is my philosophy there. Hey, small rock for free is really good. We've already used almost half of our bombs. In the process, you know, four bombs for a damage upgrade? I'll take it. Not all damage upgrades are created equal, of course, but I'll, I'll take it. And we don't have anything there, which means our boss fight is probably quickly approaching. You know what? We can conceivably do that and... Oh, come on. I think with one more bomb we can get that out of there. This is an important one. Hey, We're a genius. Okay. Well, what's my final outcome from these ten bombs? Admittedly, it's not looking like it's going to be that amazing. Oh, they didn't explode. Uh, but still, 10 bombs for a key might be extremely meaningful if we end up getting into a situation where uh, we don't have any keys. How, how hilarious. And we did take a little damage on this room. This room's kind of a nightmare, though, so I don't mind it too much. We could find a secret room here. It's unlikely. But theoretically possible, I suppose. Our boss room, I was going to say, should be right around the corner here. A little tempted to throw... I mean, I shouldn't be wasting so many bombs, but I'm going to throw one down here for maybe some money. Just spiders, huh? That's tough luck. And, of course, we're going to be fighting the haunt. But the haunt with um, with a damage upgrade is not so bad. And three bombs actually gives us a pretty nice ability to do this. So we're going to try to... I was going to say, walk at least one of these ghosts into the bombs. So these They're the greatest shooters of all time. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, my ideal outcome here is we get an HP upgrade or like an all stats upgrade, which would be obviously substantially better. You can go ahead now. Um, and then we just walk ourselves, you know, onto some spikes or onto some fire or something like that. Kill ourselves, respawn with anemia, and I think you might get a small damage up. I, I've been perhaps mistakenly or erroneously saying that you get like a 1.2 times damage modifier from being. Nope, alright. From being, uh,. The respawn version of Lazarus, but I don't know if that's true. But this is okay because we can still kill ourselves on a deal with the devil and respawn with pretty much the same criteria. We're gonna be on the cellar, which sucks for rooms, but at least we've already fought the uh, the boss that is most likely to be a complete dickhole. Please die. Please die. Please die. This room is a little touch and go. The good news is seven cents. I mean, I don't love uh, Pageant Boy. But there are some times when it can be good, and the early game is is the principal time when that is likely to happen. Uh, because it gives us enough money to buy a Spirit Heart, I and mean, in buying a Spirit Heart, we'll end up taking these pills, maybe not right away, but... Uh, in buying a Spirit Heart, we can guarantee ourselves a, a better chance... Oh no, I blew it! We could have guaranteed ourselves a better chance with a deal with the Devil. Sadly, I might have completely thrown that, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe not. Well, now we have nearly enough money to buy an item. And Counterfeit Penny would have been nice to know that it was there beforehand, but that's on me. I'll throw another bomb down here. I am not afraid. That will give us more than enough money to make our shop worthwhile in that regard then. And Holy Mantle! If only we'd gotten this a little earlier, but let's be honest, it's hard to be sad about Holy Mantle. That is uh, an incredibly good item. It's just one of those situations where I'm like, you gotta take Nun's Habit. You don't know what spacebar items you're gonna get over the remainder of the game. So this makes curse rooms free for us, which is awesome. Are you a wizard? Luck down. Wow. Doesn't get much worse than that. With Holy Mantle, we can totally blow this up. It did take us to four cents. Not quite the five that maybe I was looking for, but that's okay. Um, I, I don't love the idea of actually fighting in these rooms, but, you know, we'll do what needs to be done. Holy Mantle plus, like, Sacrificial Dagger is one of my favorite slightly unorthodox combinations. Definitely going to use our last bomb there. Um, if we can get that combination, it's so good. There we go. We can actually fire straight ahead again. Feels good. 
And consumable still in a decent position. Could be better, of course. You know what? I, sh I should uh, explore the entirety of this floor before fighting the boss because there is a chance that we can get a Book of Revelations. Right. Got to remember, let's do our due diligence there. You know, deal with the devil, be damned. I don't, I don't mean that, by the way, deal with the devil. Deal with the devil, please come to see me. But uh, we can kind of forsake it right away. We've already ruined our chances a little bit. We've sullied, sullied them a little bit with um, our red heart damage. So we'll just take a quick peek around to see if maybe we can get super lucky and find a library. It's going to be a little bit of a slower first couple of floors than I'd like. Oh well. Secret room here, maybe? Samson's Chains. It's it's pretty good. Uh, I'm probably not going to invest too much time into crushing rocks, but if there uh, if there's pots that are easy to get, or we end up uh, countering a lot of tinted rocks, then then sure. I am going to open this because I, I feel like I have to, basically. I feel like there's a very good chance of that. And actually, with Holy Mantle and Samson's Chains... Ooh, well, I mean, with Counterfeit Penny, this is pretty good, but it is going to slow us down. But Holy Mantle plus Samson's Chains, our main advantage uh, here might be our ability to crush mushrooms, actually. But I think we're going to say, like, goodbye to Boss Rush. And instead, just be like, you know, we got a pretty good chance of... Uh, just getting whatever we want from our shops. You know, we're already at 47 cents. I think we can probably just leave. We'll check out our shop first, though. I'm not going to buy the Spirit Heart right away, because we may want to die and then buy the Spirit Heart when we come back to life. It's a very weird setup right here, but we should buy other stuff that we think we might need. For example, this, or even a pill. Tough luck. <laughs> that sucks pretty hard. Especially, you want speed upgrades or the ability to fly with Samson's Chain. Chains, uh, because, uh, you know, makes it a lot easier to crash it into things as you can see right there pin well we'll put um we'll put the samson's chain like in the middle yeah and that is going to allow us to do a lot of extra damage to pin if he just has the audacity to jump through samson's chain it's not really that much extra damage but it you know it's it's enough to be appreciated no deal with the devil we got an evil upgrade for some extra bombs i guess it's down to the next floor our speed really irritates me, but with Holy Mantle, we should be pretty much guaranteed a deal here. It should be a deal with the devil, because it's kind of how it works by default. Um, we can actually, yeah, I was going to say, put Samson's Chain between us and the bonies here. I'm not, I'm not focusing on Samson's Chain. I'm just trying to make sure that I, I'm putting myself in the best defensible position conceivable, you know? Yeah, if we use Samson's Chain as a shield, it makes it a lot harder for these enemies to hit us. Nearly impossible, but it's also nearly impossible to get it into position in the first place, so... Oh my god. No keys. No keys. Uh, frustrating. Everything else not so bad. We're really... Like, the easiest way to sort out our, our situation right now is just the ability to fly. You know, it doesn't really matter if our speed is super low if we can fly, or if we have crazy high damage. If we can walk into a room and be like, bam, brimstone, you're dead. Then it doesn't matter. But, as of right now... Certainly an annoying level of, of slowness, but, you know, by using Samson's Chains somewhat consciously, we can help out. It's actually like a surprisingly good item from a utilitarian standpoint. Yeah, I took a grade 12 philosophy. I know what utilitarian means. Do the best out outcome for as many people as possible or some shit like that. I don't know. What, you my teacher or something? Ease up, teach. Now, I'm every floor, every room that we go to with the speed downgrade, it's it's killing me a little bit inside. I also hate the fact that we got a luck downgrade as Lazarus, the only character who I believe actually starts with negative luck. Luckily, we're still getting consumable drops because somebody up there likes us, but uh, it, it is a little ridiculous how behind the eight ball we're going to be in terms of consumables here if we don't sort it out pretty quick. Again, with Holy Mantle, I, I can... Kind of, you know, quit my bitching a little bit, right? Like, it's a great item. I would love to crush these. I'm just not sure if we can actually do it with my low speed. Look, it's going to be problematic, at least. We'll wait till hopefully we get the ability to fly. Um, unfortunately, the blood banks no longer, or the blood bags no longer give you a speed upgrade. 
That was actually one of the kind of fringe benefits of playing them, is you could get low speed and then recover from them, but I'll play it anyway with Counterfeit Penny. This gives us a, a large amount of money to hopefully bankroll a... We gotta get right in there. I don't like this at all. To hopefully bankroll a, a trip to the shop in the future. This is probably a situation where it, it makes sense for me to make sure Samson's chain is directly in front of me, blocking bullets. But we are gonna have to we're gonna have to advance here. Oh, there we go. This is not an easy room in our current uh, state. In a lot of states, it actually is a pretty easy room. But I think overall, I consider this like one of my least favorite rooms in the in this area of the game. We're close. Okay, we did it. I'm not happy with the amount of damage we took in the process. That's not a speed thing. That's just. Oh, fuck that room for now. That room could actually get us killed. All I, all I have to do is get hit by the spikes twice and I'll die. Don't let me lose this Lazarus run this quick. I mean, we'd come back. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise because we'd come back with anemia. Anemic. But it's probably not. I figured we'd just, you know, speed, speed up that process right there. Oh, we have Holy Mantle. Why am I concerned about this room now that I think about it? If we just run right through, we should be fine. Yeah, might be a little close thanks to our, our speed, but whatever. Also, would it kill the game, you know, to maybe give us a uh, an item room or a shop close by? Or a, a, a boss room for that matter? There we go. I appreciate that. It, you know what? It's bad business that I even had to ask, but I appreciate that you owned up to it. Thank you. This is not an XL floor, in spite of the fact that it feels like the longest floor of all time. So we are going to be going here, hopefully being able to buy a key. We're also able to get a spirit art, which is great. We're also able to get red candle, which is very good. Because now I have a little bit of a better way of doing damage. It also blocks incoming shots. And our item from the item room is mystery sack, which is acceptable. We really, really need a deal with the devil after this boss fight. Now the good news is, again, should be pretty much guaranteed. But pretty much doesn't always uh, end up with giving you the results you want. I got hit twice there, but I was still in the period of uh, invincibility from getting hit the first time, so... I don't think... Yeah, I botched that. You know what? That half red heart... It's gotta be a little bit more valuable than that to, to sell me on it. That should get that one. Okay. I'd say that's pretty lucky. Let's see what we've got in here. Two of the same pill that are both speed downgrades. I'm gonna take it, you never know, maybe we'll get a PhD in the future. I'm not gonna take it, take it, that would just be ridiculous. A another luck downgrade as well. Getting a little, little silly at this point. Are you kidding me? Can we have like one good pill? Look, I realize that with Holy Mantle, again, should quit my bitching. At the same time, I also feel like that doesn't last forever, you know? How is this not hitting any of these? The hitbox on Samson's chain is not my favorite. Look at that! Look, it went right through it! Anyway, it's all good. I don't really care so much about those mushrooms paying out with pills that I'll just be, like, incredulous with their badness. Uh, red uh, Candle is an extraordinary pickup for us that is helping out a great deal. Everything else, whatever. It's all about the deal with the devil right here. Meat is a good pickup, and Brimstone and Gimpy are amazing. Let's take these. We also got Bad Gas and Puberty. This might be a universally bad uh, pill rotation. Now, I can't be salty. We have Brimstone and Holy Mantle. The only thing I need to 100% remove my salt... Right, you're supposed to go into a, a, a room first to kind of get Holy Mantle to work. Oh well, we took half a heart. Still pretty good. Um, the only thing I need to remove my salt 100% right now is for the game to give me a speed upgrade. I would sacrifice. Give me a speed upgrade in our boss room. Normally, I would be like, ugh. Wooden spoon, ugh. But actually, uh, in this case, I, I would love it. But we already got Brimstone, you know? So we're probably still going to win. Where the heck did I. Curse of the Maze, you, you, you threw me for a loop there. I was right next to our item room. I should have stayed still. It's okay, though. I mean, we're, we're in an extremely good offensive position right now. I'm just pissed off. Because I'm that's the kind of dude I am. 
Okay, uh, Scorpio. Starting to get used to these. Get used to the horoscope items is what I mean. What do we have in here? Red chests? No, two golden chests. I was like, I'll open one, and if it has a key, I'll open the other. But let's be honest, I'm just going to open both. And we got a lot of money in the process. Now, money is not what uh, wins you the game in Rebirth, but it, it, it doesn't hurt. Thanks for putting all the consumables in one uh, safe area so that I can get them easily. We should have Megamon next because there uh, appear to be energy crystals or something. If you can get Red Candle in there and uh, have it, like, expire inside of his body so it uses, like, all of its firepower right there. Firepower. <laughs> It's a good thing. Let's just put it that way. An arcade, huh? I like it. If we find a demon judgment, I like it even more. Please. Thank you. There's no demon judgment. That's okay. I mean, it's not the end of the world. If I get hit by that guy again, yeah, I'm going to flip the frick out. We will go back for those consumables. Okay, so there is an Eternal Heart in there. I'm just going to use the bombs to do... I almost completely blew it. I'm going to use the bombs to do this, uh, but let's fight... Greed. Oh, we can't get in there. I'm assuming that it's Greed anyway. Yeah, right, Northern Lion. You just let it slip that you play all these seeds in advance so that you know what's going to happen. Yeah, you know, that explains why I took the speed downgrade pills and the puberty and the... Bad trip and etc. Yeah, but you gotta take the pills so that it looks believable. I know you, Northern Lion. I know you invest twice as much time as is necessary just so that you only get good seeds even though you end up losing 50% of the time. You got me. It's true. Tomo knows the truth, but he's not telling anybody. Now, I, I know what's gonna happen here. This room's gonna drop a key. And I'm gonna backtrack all the way back to that shop. And then I'm going to fight Greed. And I'm going to be very salty about it the whole time. Oh, uh. <sighs> we would sing like a nine minute long song. Take us back to the freaking shop here. Mama just killed a man. Don't give me curse of the maze. I'll be voyaging to the shop for days. Mama. Oh, it's not Greed at least. In a way, it's worse. To a spades. I like it. Justice. Okay, well, we got three keys for walking back here. And a speed downgrade pill. Brav fucking O. Speed up. Bombs are key. Oh, I actually appreciate this room more than it'll ever know. 17 keys is nice. It means that we'll never have to go through this horse hockey again. We're only on the third freaking floor. We got brimstone. We got a holy mantle, and yet somehow I'm still mad. I'm not sure whether that says more about me or the run at this point. I'm going to check here for a secret room. Lucky me. Lucky me. There we go. Counterfeit penny, keeping us rich. Uh, this is going to be a slow run. Prepare yourself. I don't think Boss Rush is going to be on the table, which is something that's very difficult for me to say when I have Brimstone and Holy Mantle. But it really does come down to the fact that we are just goddamn slow. I was going to use a more like flowery word there, but a, nor a more flowery word is not necessary. We're just slow. That's exactly the description that is most apt. I would like to be fast, but we're not. Money is good, though. And, I mean, everything else on this run except for our speed is good. You know what Kanye West featuring Teddy Payne said? Having money ain't everything, not having it is. Having slow... That doesn't make any sense. Having speed ain't everything, not having it is. That's how I feel right now. Speed me up a little bit. Speed me up, Scotty. Sweep the leg, Johnny, and then speed me up afterwards. Oh, no. I took some damage with Holy Mantle. I don't care. Deal with the devil, please. Oh, God. A wooden spoon. We got noticeably faster, but still slightly slower than I'd like to be there. But hey, it's something. It's a start. Yeah, we're, we're moving now. We're cooking with gasoline. Which is ill-advised, depending on the method of which you're cooking. But anyway, I guess you're cooking with gas. 
This is like, I just got, I upgraded from a freaking big wheel to like a BMW or something like that. I can actually move. It's amazing. Is this how real life is supposed to feel? I know, by the way, that there is a, uh, an Isaac's room there, which is great. Probably like the most consistent chance for a, uh, a deal with the devil. Not a deal with the devil, sorry. Oh, Jesus. Uh, the most consistent chance for a uh, black market. We haven't had a genuine black market in a long, long time. Now it just tends to be the items, but I would take them either way. We might just get... Uh... Oh, no, it is a black market, though. Or, you know, a free item. It's a free item. Charm of the Vampire. In a way, I almost was like, I don't even want to walk over here, but we'll do it. It's probably not going to be that worthwhile, but we'll pick it up regardless because, uh, you know, due diligence and all that. We could end up resting on that room if we want to. But the black market is the big thing there. It has been like a really long time since I've had a genuine black market. Nine lives. Absolutely we'll take it. With brimstone, it's just a, it's a good get. Now we're going to use all of our bombs here. To open this stuff up. I think it's worth it. You might disagree. That's fine. That's your right. Okay. Now we have Guppy's head. So I think with Brimstone, you know, one of the things I struggle with with Brimstone is that I'm not going to be able to use the... Oh, I'm trapped. I'm not going to be able to use the candle that effectively. So I figured, you know, getting rid of it for Guppy's head seems like a relatively smart play here. Because you're always struggling. You're like, should I use the candle or should I use Brimstone? And you end up using both, but like both are used at like less efficiency. So we just got two-thirds of the way to becoming Guppy right away. Oh, there's a Tinted Rock back there. Uh, which, which is ridiculous. You know, I wouldn't have expected that in the least. But it worked out. So hopefully we get a deal with the Devil here where we just manage to become Guppy easily. Northern Lion, what's the point of taking Samson's chains if you're just not even going to use Samson's chains to break rocks if you're just going to use all your bombs instead? Laziness, I guess? Samson's chains actually helped us out as a defensive item and, and may continue to do so somewhat in the future. Alright, Nuns have it. We can generate like a huge fly army here if we get some more red hearts. It's not my number one priority, but it's, it's something. Boss Rush Room is not going to happen. That is, uh, you know this, Virgo. Yeah, refreshed and protected. I don't know how I feel about that, but I do love the bow. Haven't been to our shop. Shop very well might contain greed. Who cares? Let's do it. I know there's golden poop back there. We'll go back for Don't worry, your pretty little head. We're gonna get you home to Tyson in your cozy tiger bed. Don't worry about it. Should have used uh, Guppy's paw, or Guppy's head first there. Why always the head and the paw? The ones I get confused. I don't get it. You gotta go see like a neurologist or something like that. My hands and my head feel like the same thing to me, Doc. What's my problem? Uh, well, it seems here that you're an idiot. Hmm, no known cure yet. That's unfortunate. Not greed. Sure, black candle, I appreciate. Everything else, I mean, I guess we'll pay five cents for this. And you know what? We might not get a donation machine on the next floor, so let's start building this bad boy back up to $9.99. I know, I'm an idiot, this never should have happened in the first place, but, you know, I, I gotta, I'm not gonna just you cheese the system, I'm gonna sing for my supper here, you know, I'll, I've done the crime, I will now do the time, we're 3% of the way towards getting back up there. I appreciate this room a great deal. We got back up to 44 cents, now conceivably, as long as I keep topping it up, that's probably enough for us to, uh, you know, use it as a bank in the future. How often do I even use it? Like, never. I, what am I thinking there? Terrible play on my part, but whatever, it is done. We have more money that we can spend in the shop on the next floor if we uh, end up not fighting greed, which I think is a little bit unlikely, but stranger things have happened. Poison didn't work there, that's my bad. Or maybe he was immune to it because of, he got hit by a Scorpio earlier? Not totally sure. Tricky-ish dodge is there. Now he's dead. Deal with the devil for a guppy item. Got HP. And the Krampus fight. Lump of coal would be awesome. Krampus' head would be middling. Lump of coal. Alright. Maybe not awesome, but it's good. I still don't know if it actually does the same uh, damage increase, the flat damage increase that it does for you in uh, vanilla if you have brimstone. Lump of coal, but I'm happy to have it regardless. 
Honestly, it's gonna sound like I'm ungrateful, but I could really go for another speed upgrade right now. Don't skimp out on me here. Two keys for uh, seven bombs. This seems like a pretty good trade for me right there. Luck foot. All right. I don't know if that gives us max luck. Or I don't know if it gives us the equivalent of max luck, which would put us slightly below it because we've had a, a luck downgrade. Maybe we've had a luck upgrade since then. I can't remember. Uh, and we're, we start as negative luck because we're Lazarus, thankfully. Um, but I'm happy to have it regardless. And, you know, between all that and Holy Mantle at this point, I'm comfortable calling it. I should have called it a little earlier, but I was frustrated. This should be a one run. Wow, it's another uh, shop that's actually worthwhile, and we picked up a dime just before it, so we'll be able to get the compass here. And, yeah, why not just the spirit heart? I mean, we don't need the keys. Well, it looks like that is going to be our exit, so we might as well come back this way first. I will trade two keys for seven bombs. And then I'll go to the, what, it, what appears to be a double key room there. There's no curse room. And we're not going to have a good chance of getting into uh, our boss rush room because... It, oh, there's a tinted rock down there. It doesn't appear that there is a, uh, a blood bank unless we find one randomly. Let's be honest, we don't need to. I would love to be, become Guppy, but... It's not really going to be that uh, much of a prerequisite for having a good run. Let's put it that way. I wish we were guppy now. I hate this room because I always waste all of my bombs trying to get these freaking red chests out of here. We have a holy mantle. Here's what we'll do. Much smarter idea, I think. Ah, there we go. Hello, guppy. Now we can fly. So we don't need to worry about this shit at all anymore. Well, goat head as well. And it's going to help us for two rooms. Uh, that turned out pretty well. This is a one run at this point. I can see forever. Whoa. That's a nice shortcut there. We also picked up the quarter. The quarter. I am a big fan of this run now. This is excellent. Oh, well, there's our... I, I know we skipped the Tinted Rock. We're already so close to the HP cap, I don't think it matters. Plus, we're guppy. Let the man have his fun. Please, after spending so much time with slow speed. Let me enjoy myself. My relative mobility. What do you... Oh, jeez. That should... Almost do it right there. If the flies were a little faster, I think it would have done it. Oh no, Holy Mantle works. Alright. We're going to take the Polaroid. You still need the D100, much to my surprise. Uh, yeah, we'll take Whore of Babylon. We're not going to ever be able to use it, but we might as well take... Well, probably not going to be ever, ever be able to use it, but we'll take it because we uh, can get to the HP cap anyway, and maybe on the next floor we got a chance at it. But this is... This is about as one as it gets. Guppy, Brimstone... What can I say, really? I still don't, I, I used to value the goat head a lot higher than I value it now, but it's still I'm I'm thankful that we won't have to worry about uh, not being able to get into our devil rooms on this floor and the floor beyond. Well, actually, on the floor beyond, we won't even have a chance. So we really don't have to worry about it if you want to get technical. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We could, if we were very vigilant, use Samson's chain to start breaking these polyps and stuff open. I'm not gonna do it. It's it's just too much work for me, I'll be honest. You know, people think laziness is something to be ashamed of. I think if you wear it on your sleeve, it's it's not uh, anything to be ashamed of. If you try to hide your laziness, man, you just gotta let your laziness fly. We got a ton of flies there, speaking of which. But if you own up to your laziness, I think there's no problem with it. As long as you still get your shit done. We got bad gas, the devil's better for us. Ah, you know what? With Guppy's Tail and Rotten Baby, we can get into our permanent horror Babylon state, or we could try to get Judas's Shadow, but I don't... No, it's not necessary. This way we can get into our horror Babylon state of a huge damage bonus and uh, move along. And we should be sitting pretty here. That horror Babylon pickup actually is going to be a really nice damage bonus. Basically the equivalent of having an Empress card on every room for the remainder of the game. Plus our flies are going to do the damage as well, which they would with the Empress card too, I think, but still. These guys are like, oh shit, are you sure you want to, you want us to go down there? Like, can we go anywhere else? We'll volunteer for like latrine duty or something. Yeah, we're just out of control now. Thank you, Goathead. Goathead proved itself a little bit today. I feel bad for shit-talking it a little bit in the past. No good pills. It's just I should realize that that's the law right now. Um, Rotten Baby, you know, occasionally helpful, but the big pickup from that... 
from that uh, deal with the devil beyond permanent horror Babylon state was definitely Guppy's tail, so we will have a pretty good chance to get a lot of golden chests, and we have the keys necessary to open them, which is nice as well. Otherwise, it's just kind of like, you know, lip service, but I appreciate it. This is the wrong way. I know that there's pills in there, but considering the track record we've had with pills, I don't really dislike uh, skipping them. That was a very quick room. Room that's normally kind of annoying. Oh man, we can totally take that Joker card down to the cathedral. I don't know if we'll have the HP necessary to get anything, but happy to have it regardless. We don't need that bomb or that nickel. It's all good. You gotta, you know, if you love something, let it go. And I love money and Isaac. We're gonna let it go. Could have used the devil card right here. Not necessary. Just save our Joker card to pop immediately on the next floor. Hopefully pick up... I, I mean, I love Mom's Knife with Brimstone just because it's stupid. The synergies are just ridiculous. This run will be over in like... Probably within the next five minutes. Yeah. I'd be surprised if it weren't. Shovel. The shovel? Why, why pick that up? That was dumb. I'm going to use the shovel just to see if we could get the black market. Because that's how... You know, I'm not trying to be cocky, but that's how confident I am in this run. And I should have not picked up the black hearts, because then we could have picked them up and been a little closer to the HP cap, but it doesn't really matter much in the whole scheme of things, probably. If it does, I'll feel pretty bad about it, but... Mostly, no, I won't feel guilty, I'll just feel like an idiot, which is... You know, also not a good feeling. But a little bit less malicious, I guess. But let's be honest, like, with Holy Mantle, and the stupid amount of flies that we're generating, and the amount of damage we're doing, we could beat any boss in the game only getting hit once. We could probably beat Boss Rush only getting hit once. But, we didn't get to do Boss Rush because we had 100 speed downgrades in the early game. These guys are dead. And we didn't quite generate as much fly army potential as I'd like, but, you know, what's done is done. The longer we can go without using Holy Mantle here, the better, because we can get super close if we need to. Thank you, fly. Oh, didn't quite finish the job there, huh? Holy Mantle's still alive. That fly army when you land like a perfect brimstone shot is just beautiful. Look at this. Look at that stream. Just volunteering to go to their deaths in order to help out my cause here. I appreciate that. And that's going to be another win for us. We're going to be uh, Eden next, which I always like. Last Eden run was ridiculous. Unicorn Stump. Tiny Planet. Mom's Pad. Attack Fly. Hello, Kate. Really? You want to wait like a minute and then I'll be done this run? And I can say goodbye. Okay. All right, I'll go as fast as I can, which is going to be very, very fast. Tiny planet with uh, with brimstone is—it's kind of like a lateral move. I don't think it's really that good, but it looks cool. If you're going to have trouble on the run, it's kind of nice because it does provide you with a shield. And if you get shielded tears with it, then all bullets coming in will be destroyed by this laser. I think. However, what does it matter for us in our current situation, right? Like. We're going to be pretty much one-shotting enemies anyway. I guess maybe with Lump of Coal, I don't think that it gives you a damage bonus because it takes longer to get there. I don't think so, but it's a theoretical possibility, I guess. And I, I suppose you could also hit enemies maybe multiple times if you get super close to them. Which, with Holy Mantle, I'm not necessarily uh, against. Got, like, every mini-boss in the world here. Um, but it, it's mostly just a cool... Let's face it, that's why we're using it. It looks cool. I took a little bit of damage there. I'm not necessarily thrilled with it. We're not going to use the Strength card, because the Strength card, I believe, would ruin Horror of Babylon, and also permanent Polaroid invincibility on our boss room. Surprised we're not getting a few more uh, items here, but whatever. Here we are. Let's do it. I'm going to get right in there, just to see if we do a little bit of extra damage uh, with our Brimstone shot being folded over itself like the world's most painful cinnamon roll. And we are done. I love this pretzel shot. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that run. We were at like 25 minutes when we left the depths and we finished the run before minute 30, which is ridiculous. But hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.